Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna talk about the simplest way to make a million dollars. Because in the last two years, you've seen a bunch of people make a million bucks, flipping NFTs and selling spatulas and starting Shopify stores and starting OnlyFans channels and selling farts out of jars. Cue a clip about that. 90 Day Fiance star Stephanie Maddow says she made thousands of dollars by selling, drum roll please, jars of her farts. Now, why do people buy my farts in a jar? I honestly think it's because I have a really good personality. And if you have felt like you've been distracted all over the place by a variety of different ideas and methods, you're not the only one. It distracted me too. I went down the NFT rabbit hole, I went down the crypto rabbit hole, and there's tons of value to going down those rabbit holes. But today, I want to talk about how we can keep things very simple in making the first million. Because I don't think it is a good idea to go down all of these rabbit holes in pursuit of the million while also being scattered all over the place trying to get a little bit here and a little bit there. I know that I am out of sync. I know that I'm stressed and operating from a place of scarcity when my journal entry looks something like this. My goal income is X number of dollars. I'll make this much from this, this much from this, this much from this, and this much from this. That's when I know that I'm stressed and I'm out of sync with what I need to do. Because the truth is, the simplest way to make a million dollars is to double down on one thing and then to use that cash flow to invest mostly passively without thinking about it into other things. We're gonna break this down more in this video and also go through some examples about how you can find the simplest and easiest way to make your first million. The most profitable asset that you have is your focus. When you are scattered all over the place listening to a bunch of different ideas or a bunch of different voices, even if one of those voices is me, it means that you are distracted from the primary focus that is going to create your first million. Even I recently had to pare down a bunch of investments and a bunch of projects because I realized that I was scattered all over the place. And if you've been scattered over the last two years, you're in really good company. The world has gone mad. So it would be normal to feel scattered all over the place. It just so happens that that is the least effective thing that you can do when you're in pursuit of the first million. The thing you have to protect more than anything is that creative focus on that one thing that will take you to the promised land. So I closed out of some investments. I closed a restaurant that I own in Ohio. I backed out of some projects, some of which I wanted to do more than anything. But I realized that I had been operating from a place of chaos and stress and taking on half-built bridges rather than putting all my focus into one thing and bringing that to the point where it's spitting enough cash off for me to then go invest in these things. I was trying to do it all at one time. And for you, you might recognize this when you've got an idea and you're excited about the idea, but then it doesn't hit pay dirt right away. And so you bounce to the next thing and you start that a little bit. And then you bounce to the next thing and you do that a little bit. And the more you do that, the more tempting it becomes to start looking for quick wins because you've got these broken pieces that you're trying to hold and fix and you've never given any of them the clarity of focus to make it grow to the million. You can make a million dollars in a million different ways. I've made a million dollars in five different ways. I did a whole video about it. You can watch it right here. That video will show you the five ways that I've made a million dollars, but I made those million dollars sequentially. I built one skill set. I stacked it on top of another skill set and I stacked it onto another skill set. For example, it started with me with content and copywriting. Those two skill sets might make six figures independently. But a few years later, I learned about building physical products brands and I took my previous skill sets, combined it with that, and I was able to build multi-million dollar businesses. And it just so happened that me talking about what I was doing then magnified the other skill set that I had, which was communicating and content creation and creating products and communities. That was another million dollars and on and on and on it goes. But you'll make the first million when you are totally focused on that primary thing. So now let's go through a few ways that that can unfold for you. 
At the end of last year, I was feeling kind of chaotic and all over the place. So what I did is I made a list of all of the projects that were in front of me, all the ones that were working or not working, all the ones that I wanted to do, all the ones that I was avoiding. And I realized that I had 12 different things going on, but only two or three of them were creating meaningful progress or profit. And so I said, okay, what would my life look like if I were to simplify everything into focusing on just the things that were already working. How fast could I get them to grow? And I even simplified it even further and said, if I just picked one of these, for example, if I just had 10 clients who paid me $100,000 a year and 10% of their business, I'd make a million dollars a year, I'd work probably less than I work right now, and I'd have equity in 10 companies that I absolutely love. That is the beauty of thinking very, very simply. Now, I do have some consulting clients. I do have equity in some businesses that I advise and or invest in. And I know that if everything fell apart, I could go to just focusing on that, make a million bucks a year, maybe more, and have equity in businesses that were really exciting. Now, if I didn't know that, if I hadn't thought, okay, how do I keep this absolutely simple, then I wouldn't have that as a fallback plan for me to build upon. And for you, if you can't say, okay, I know that I can make a million dollars launching four products and getting them to 25 sales a day at a $30 price point, if you don't know that, then as soon as you're only doing eight sales a day or things get hard or a prototype comes back flawed, you'll want to bounce to the next thing and then it will get hard and you'll bounce to the next thing. When the real magic happens, when you focus all of your attention onto that primary thing and then you build upon it from there. One of the mistakes that I see people make in the e-commerce space is they launch 12 products at a time. I was once at a conference and someone came up to me and said, hey, we're launching 12 products right now. How would you suggest that we do this in a way that would be successful? And I said, you don't. That was my answer. You launch one and then you take those results and you stack it on top of the next one and then you take those results and you stack it on top of another one because there is a exponential impact that happens every time you knock down one of those dominoes. Whereas if you're trying to launch 12 at once, you don't have the focus and the firepower to be able to knock that one over and that one and then that one and that one. You're trying to eat this entire elephant in one bite. It just doesn't happen like this. So the simplest way for you to make a million dollars is to strip out most of the things that are going on and to put your attention on the one that's either working or the one that brings you the most excitement or joy. Putting your attention on those two things until they are at least producing meaningful results for you to be a full-time entrepreneur and then using that as leverage into the next thing, that is how it happens. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have a roadmap, mine is to take one person, one customer, and then to launch four products to that customer, get them to 25 sales a day at an average price point of $30. That's a million dollar business. And then with the cash flow that you make on that, you put it into very simple long-term investments. In fact, I have a friend who makes all of his money as a copywriter and as a co copywriter consultant as well. He makes a couple million dollars a year doing this. And he has the same overall strategy as me, build businesses and invest the profits for passive income and growth. That's, in my opinion, the roadmap to wealth and freedom. Build a business, invest the profits. And we were comparing our investment strategies and he was crushing me. And his entire investment strategy was put 80% of his money into long-term index funds that he never touches and take 20% of it and put it into crypto. And just never touch it and let it, let it ride. And he was crushing me. And I, I had like all these complicated ideas and was like, oh, how much time and energy am I taking away from making more money in my business by complicating my entire investment strategy? And if any of you watch my investment content, it's very simple. I broke my own rules and I made it super complicated because it was 2021 and everything was on fire. And I thought, well, I had FOMO. That was a bad idea. Had I just stuck to this simple plan, I would have grown my wealth much, much faster. So in both business and investing, how simple can you keep it? Because the simpler you keep it, the more brain space and creativity you have 
the more brain space and creativity you can have, the clearer you can think and the faster you can move. And the faster you can move, the bigger the results will get. And the bigger the results that you get, the more people that you will meet. And the more people that you will meet, the more opportunities that you will get. And the more opportunities that you get, the harder you will need to work at keeping it very simple. If you wanna follow my playbook, to getting the million, I have a free video series that will introduce you to my model for building million dollar businesses. I call it the perfect business model. It's a free video series and you can find it in the links around this video. It's a free series, go ahead and watch it. It will show you how I build million dollar businesses and have helped hundreds of entrepreneurs do the same thing. That might be the plan for you. And if not, I hope you find something else that works for you. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran with capitalism.com. Thanks for watching and subscribing and let me know what you thought in the comments. Good to see you. See you next time.